Hello everyone, this week we're adding on to our recommends wardrobe and <laughs> on the contrary of my last video, the one that you should spend more, I've spent a little less and I've purchased basics, which is completely the opposite of what I said. But this is maybe a but video. So I need to address this and everyone's gonna want to have basics. I still wanted a cropped t-shirt where you can see my arms a little bit more. So that's why I purchased this uh, 100 euros small level tee by Ricohn's Dark Shadow. I really love it. It's good for the higher waist trousers. So usually the level tee is longer in length, a little bit roomy and this is more cropped, fitted. I think fits more to my aesthetic for some outfits and Sometimes I just make a trade off. Okay, this is gonna go and this I'm gonna purchase. So this is a good purchase. I'd say I've worn it a few times already really like it even though it's just a basic tee because of the special color and the, the, the cut off sleeves basically it'll look different a little bit not too much. It's not an experimental piece or anything like that. It's pretty safe, but on the other side, it's not a true basic um, but as I said, I'm building onto a wardrobe that maintains value, feeling as well. I feel more special in this basic than just a H&M basic. Um, I still have clothes of like H&M or uh, weekday. I don't want to incorporate that anymore into my wardrobe. So things are changing. Sometimes it looks ridiculous to what you pay for a basic, especially on the next piece that I'm going to be showing you. But Sometimes that's just the way it is. Build onto your wardrobe, put in some money and that'll create more value and I think better outfits in general. So next thing up was even more expensive than this tee. So this t-shirt was cheaper than this piece <laughs> of fabric. This is 100% cashmere beanie by Rick Owens. It's the Flagathon Spring Summer uh, 21 uh, collection. And this is just a little bit see-through. I really like this because it's a little bit of a lightweight beanie. Usually um, I tend to overheat in winter with all these polyester materials, weird materials on your head and just way too, too hot. I can't do that anymore. I don't want to do that. I got beanies, five beanies for five euros at certain stores. And so one of them is really, really good, I have to say and spending like 132 times as much as just one beanie may seem ridiculous but this will maintain value i don't think i will sell it but just to have an argument about it this will stay in value and i'll probably get around 75 euros back after i've worn it a tons of times just maintain it very well but this just looks better it's the the certain style it's the certain attraction of something like this just really simple cashmere bean I'll put it on in a second and show you in the overlay but these kind of things you can discount you can get these at regular retailers of brands that don't do the style that you do sometimes i think buying a 8xl t-shirt is the same as a really oversized drapey t-shirt it's not going to be the same there's been thoughts put into that you can get something alike, you can get a big T, it'll look ridiculous, it means of the length of the sleeve, sometimes I like to do that, but most of the time it just doesn't work like that. Just so you can buy a regular beanie at some store and expect it to look like the Rick Owens style that you want. And this does provide that. So 132 euros, I think, for this. Shipping on Rick Owens website was like 20 for a beanie, uh, which is a little ridiculous. But on the other hand, you get the, the tote bag with it, mainline tote bag, which is pretty nice. I uh, don't know if that needs to be sold to get some money back or just see about that. And um, I think it's really okay. Last piece I picked up, Rick Owens mainline wallet. Now this, I have to be honest guys, this I wouldn't purchase again. This is something, it's so simple, branded. It says Rick Owens, very small at the bottom here has this really big leather strap. It only goes out the way to this, which is unusual, I'd say. I prefer to have it all the way down. 
there's nothing in here. This is just space between two flaps of leather. I wouldn't recommend something like this. This was fairly cheap, 75 euros, but still 75 euros I could have put into a, another, another bean, another basic t-shirt. I could get more value for that kind of money. I still don't know what to do with this. I still have the option to return it or to sell it to someone else, but it's just not that special. So some of these things are really cool. Like the basic, I think is worth the money. Like the beanie is worth the money. But this wallet, I don't know. It, sometimes you really have to see through the lines. And the weird thing is, is that I'm talking, basically talking trash about this wallet and still in my head have some type of argument to keep this because it's by Rick Owens and it was cheaper. So. That's what I wanted to show you guys. I've also got the gloves coming in, the, the longer gloves. And I think it's like, a, it has a thumb hole. I, I hope so, otherwise I'm going to be returning that. I'll make a video about that, but it just hasn't arrived yet. It was 129, I think, and um, baby alpaca wool, stuff like that. So just building up my winter wardrobe already and just some basics, some bits here and there are not bad. and. Not because it's discounted, but I've had these things on a wish list for a long time. But I'm not just not as excited as to when I purchase a pair of sneakers, like the abstract, um, abstract beetle boots or uh, Converse uh, collab, something like that. So it's not as exciting, but I think it's still nice to see. And slowly through the lines of my videos, you can see that there's a really nice wardrobe coming along. So. What did you guys think of these pieces? Would you buy things like this? Please let me know. Let's have a discussion about it. Thanks for watching. See ya.